Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I am here with an update on the Silhouette Library and the Silhouette Library syncing issues that we have encountered since May 22nd of 2024. Now, the first thing I will say is that this video is very time sensitive or time capsule-ish. Um, it is as accurate as I can be today at this time, which is 3.30 on August 21st. So check the description below for any updates if you are watching this in the future. There is some additional information that is very important for users. The first thing I wanna bring up is that if you get a pop-up in your Silhouette Studio software, I can't, um, replicate that pop-up for you, but it is a pop-up that tells you that there has been an update that is in, is ready to be installed, I would highly recommend you always click later. And then I would recommend going into your Silhouette Studio software. In the bottom right corner is a gear icon with your preferences panel. Open that and then click on the advanced or click on the updates. And then I would recommend that you choose never if you have that option. My software is currently open on a beta version. It's 4.5.808, which was still considered a beta version when it was released, which means I don't have the option for never. If you do not have the option for never, then I would choose as far out as possible and make sure you're always selecting later if you get the pop-up that says there's a new version that is ready to install. Something is broken there. Since the website migration, it is not talking properly. It will delete your software, but then it will not install the new update. So it looks like it's disappeared. Well, in reality, it has disappeared. Now that's, we've had a lot of cases. I reported the issue. But just so that you are aware of this, always choose later and then go directly to the Silhouette website to download the next update if you're going to update the software. On that note, that brings me to the second point. I'm going to open my um, web browser and I'm at the silhouetteamerica.com website. This is where you're going to download the software. There's a couple things here that are confusing. At the top, when you go to silhouetteamerica.com, you're going to click on software. Currently, which we have been reporting for weeks, it will go back and forth depending on when you access the website that Silhouette Connect is at the top and, or sometimes Silhouette Studio will be at the top. Silhouette Connect is a plugin for Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw. It is not what a typical Silhouette user has. Unless you are working with Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw, you do not need Connect. It is an actual, it's an additional purchase. So you want to make sure that when you are going to download the Silhouette Studio software, that you are selecting Silhouette Studio. This is what it looks like. Currently, when I access this web page, it is the second option. But if you notice, if you go back and forth on the web pages several times a day, it actually flip flops a lot. It is very confusing for users who are not aware of this. So make sure if you have friends that are Silhouette users, share this video with them. Hopefully it'll help people have less frustration. So you're going to click on this little arrow here, and then it's going to bring up Silhouette Studio options. Now, currently, as I record this video, within the last hour, Silhouette has released a new version. The first thing I wanna say here is any legacy versions can be found under this little tab here that says legacy. If you wanna download the current version, you're going to click on the button, Windows or Mac, depending on what your computer is. Then it will open up the download window, which I will show you here in just a second. This new version, I'm gonna click on the release notes so we can see it together. Currently, as I record this, says that it is the fixes for the Silhouette Library to help resolve and prevent user library loss. Corrects encoding of special characters on the server, which is part of the problem. It's not talking to it, each other properly. Better handling of corrupt library entries. 
Please download this build if you are experiencing issues with missing files in your library. This build should be able to perform several one-time checks to restore library files that were corrupt during the recent server update. Here is what I'm going to say. If you have library issues, this is the first time that I've even had access to it. This was not released prior to anyone else. I knew it was coming, but we had no idea when. They are saying this version will sync user libraries who are currently still having issues. There is a lot that went on behind the background, 90 plus days as I record this, where the new system is not talking to the Silhouette library properly. A lot of things changed with the design store and the files, and it's just, I'm just gonna say, it's just a mess. That's all I can say. There's a lot of stuff that is going on on both ends, okay? Um, I'm not going to go into all of the details and different things like that, but uh, it has affected a lot of Silhouette users, including myself, including my admin team, including my, you know, members of the Facebook group. We have tried to help users, but there has been nothing that has solved it for everybody. Right now, this is what Silhouette is stating. I've also received an email that is a copy of what is Silhouette support is sending out. And this is the version that they are recommending users update to, log in and sync their library to. And if you do not do this and you have library issues, they are not going to be able to help you try to recover those library issues until you follow the steps to update to this version. Now there's a couple things here that I'm going to watch for. For users who do update, I'm going to press the update button here in just a second. We're going to go through it. But for users who do update, one of the things, questions that I have, and I will answer it in the description below as I gather more data. But if a user's library is not syncing on the version they are currently using, and then they update, can and it works, and the library syncs, can they go back to an older version or a legacy version? At this moment, I don't know the answer to that. And only time will tell what is going to happen. There are a lot of things that have happened with the Silhouette website migration and things trying to talk properly to its, each other. So let's, I'm gonna go click the back arrow to go back to, again, see Silhouette Connects at the top. So just be mindful of that. Click the button for Silhouette Studio. And then I'm going to click, I'm a Windows user. So I'm gonna click Windows. It is going to ask me where to download it to. For most users, your default is your downloads computer. This is a setting I have changed on my computer. So I am just going to, I download it to my desktop and that's going to download the installation. So I have it right here in the downloads. So it shows that it has downloaded it here. First, I need to go and I need to go back to my Silhouette Studio software choose cancel and I need to close Silhouette Studio. You cannot install a Silhouette version while your current software is open. So you wanna make sure to close that. No, and then I'm gonna come out to my desktop and I'm going to find that installation file. Here is the file on my computer. I saved it to the desktop, so I'm gonna double click on that and open it up. Now, if you are a Windows user, you need to be aware that there's going to be some shields and hopefully I'll be able to show you that on my screen to be able to complete the installation. I'm going to click on next and next and install. And then it is a Windows um, feature, not feature, that's not the right word. It is a Windows setting. So pop-ups. Mine actually popped up in my Windows 11 currently. I need to accept this. So I need to click yes. And then for most Windows users, you need to watch your bottom taskbar for any shields that come up. If you have a shield down there, it will look like it has stalled on the installation and those shields need to be selected. You need to click on it and then approve it or the installation cannot proceed. And that is a Windows setting. That is not something with Silhouette. So if you are a Mac user, you will also follow the instructions to install and move that file to your applications folder. So it is going through the installation process. 
and then it will ask me if I want to launch the program. Launch Silhouette and finish. So this is my first time using this. I will say that we have reported issues since last October 2023 with the Silhouette Studio software, bugs that are in the software. There's bugs in all software, so it's not just particular Silhouette, but we have reported bugs since September of 2023. There really has not been any fixes to any of those bugs, which some of most of them are just annoying bugs, but some of them I have really cussed out like a selection bug. Um, none of those have been fixed ever since this library issue started at the end of May when they did the website migrations. That has been the focus is trying to get the library working properly and the library syncing. So now hopefully if this works, let's cross our fingers. We have to, uh, only once, only once. Otherwise it cancels it, I'm told. If this works for the users having issues, then hopefully now we can start and Silhouette's um, software team can start working on some fixes for the annoying bugs in the actual software. So I do want to state that. So you may encounter some things. You can let me know in the comments below or if you're in my Silhouette Secrets Facebook group. We troubleshoot that all the time. All we can do is report them and try to find ways to work around them. So now I have my Silhouette Studio software. I'm going to click on the library. I'm going to close my eyes. <laughs> no. Um, miraculously, before all of this happened today, I had synced my library and it seemed like most of the files had come through. So currently it is showing the same number of files that I previously had. I'm just going to click on the whole library. I do have some files that were showing as download failed before. Um, I can try to click retry here and we can see what happens on the software. Um, I'm not going to edit this video. It's going to be live like it is as it is. Um, just to show you the actual reality of what I'm experiencing. It said, said download failed. Um, I have a theory on this one. Um, I've been collecting data on it, but in the old Silhouette website, there was a section in the store that was called projects. And it would have a full project that was then um, different files for that project. And that is not on the new website. So if you look at my screen here, it when I move over it, it tells me like the designation of where it originated, which means designs, project designs, and then it tells me the name of it. So currently that file is part of a project file that is now not on the new website, which I have reported and hopefully that will be fixed. So all of those project files will come through. Now I have a, I have a lot of those further down in my library. But let's see if we can find one real quick. Um, let's go slower. I will say my library did sync this morning. I had bought 12 files, but a lot more actually synced than the 12 that I purchased today. Um, let's try this be kind one. We'll see, cross our fingers if it's going to show up. Um, I want you to see real time, so I'm not, that one showed up. So you can try this. Now, if your whole library shows as download failed, then um, I'll put instructions on what you need to send to Silhouette support, um, but be as detailed as possible. And I'll put those instructions in the description below. Um, but so far, let's see if I can scroll without going too fast. Okay, there's another, let's see here. Um, Right here, here's two. Okay, these ones, they are project designs. I already know right now, if I push this retry button, it's not going to download. Um, hopefully that will be fixed. Things are slowly progressing, um, but I don't expect that one to, it's gonna show download failed because it's a project. So most of my library is showing, let's try this one here, Boss Mermaid. Um, I am just collecting data just like I normally do because we troubleshoot and help with a lot of users. So this one currently, I don't know why that one's not downloading. Um, 
Another reason files may not download is because they are no longer showing as an active file in the Silhouette Design Store, which means that it's, it's not talking properly. So you could encounter a few of those. I'm just trying to think of things that might be reasons that you do have some of those that show as download failed. Hopefully, um, please let me know in the comments below. Um, don't shoot the messenger, please. Um, we are the ones out there, the educators, the influencers, mostly educators, are trying to help users through this time. Yelling at us and cussing at us because of something that is not our fault does not help anyone. Um, I, we're really trying to just help users through this and there is not a lot of information out there. I understand it's not my job, I don't work for Silhouette, but I still have a following of Silhouette users. I still have people that I teach and they are wanting the information um, and it, I can't just wait for that to come from Silhouette. So I am putting this out there to hopefully help. You can see I clicked on this one and it downloaded. So the, it's just gonna take some time you know, once in a while when I'm scrolling through my library, I will click on these, but I'm not going to sit here. I have 50, almost 16,000 files. I'm not gonna just scroll through and try to download everything all at once. On that note, as more users are doing this, when they see this video, you may experience some slow times or the Silhouette Design Store may have some slow time periods as well. The more users that are on, the more that are trying to act, you know, access it at the same time, that's when we start to see slowdowns. So we are still working through this process and we're doing whatever, you know, as much as we can to help the users. So if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below. If you're on my Facebook group, that link's in the description below as well. If you're in the Facebook group, you can ask on there. We don't know everything. I don't think anybody does. Right now, they're hoping that this one does fix it for all users. Um, and so we're going to see what happens. And I'm gonna continue to collect the data from the users and see what happens. And we'll just keep moving forward. So I will also throw a link up in the description below for ways that you can use Silhouette Studio without your library if it is not syncing properly or if you decide you do not want to um, use the library moving forward. So I will have that information in the description as well. And I just wanna say thank you for joining me. I hope this information has helped you and have a great day.